Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. Let's get into this message for you, Cancer. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Wow. Something's happening here very soon. Somebody's contacting you soon because they have something to say. I have something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. Somebody wants to let you know they're single. I'm single. Um, that's a very straightforward message. I don't know how else to <laughs> how else to interpret that, okay? There's somebody who wants to say something to you. Um, meaning they're contacting you soon to let you know that they're single. Very straightforward. This person may be very straightforward, whoever this is, when they contact you. They may they may call you and say, Hey, I'm single. There's something that I really want to share with you. That's what they want to share with you, that they're single. I'm not attached to anyone, not looking to get into a relationship at this time. So keep that in mind. Give me an energy for this reading for Cancer. Sending you so much love, Cancer. There's been divine intervention in this situation with whoever this is. A true love. <laughs> divine intervention, delays and detours. Okay, so there's been a change here. Unexpected, meaning last minute. Okay, past life soulmate. I'm seeing true love. Past life soulmate, there could have been an external party in, in the middle of you. This divine connection, you and this person from your past could be a person, past life person. Okay, karmic contracts, family, finances, and other material concerns or responsibilities that could have been an interference in this connection. So there's been a change. There's a detour. There's somebody here that has something to say. And you're their favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first, somebody is in their feelings about you. I titled the last reading I did for cancer. The, the runner has re-sparked feelings. I feel like this person has ended here something recently. Or somebody has. And they want to, they want to let you know. Not that you want it. <laughs> Maybe you do, cancer. Something here with time. Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. They're contacting you soon. They may feel like they're running out of time. Somebody here feels like they're running out of time. Stress. This is a, a overwhelmed or overwhelmed or reworked is what I channeled. Give me an energy for this reading for cancer. Give me an energy for this reading. We'll get into the tarot. Feeling unworthy. Feeling like you're, you're a better person than they are. Someone's in their feelings. I said it missing you i feel like a part of me is missing without you this person feels like they made a mistake i just channeled something that i decided not to say i said what a shocker yeah habits i don't know if we will ever change so this is someone whom you have a very strong connection chemistry could be a twin this could be a soulmate who feels unworthy of your love at this time Okay. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. Someone rising in Venus. What else does Cancer need to know? Messages of love, dishonesty. Yeah, I feel like a part of me is missing. So somebody here is missing, missing you or missing this connection with you. Thinking a lot about the past or past actions, mistakes. They feel like they're running out of time. By lying, I ripped us apart. So somebody here feels is in their feelings, like I said. Someone is in their feelings. What am I going to use for this reading? I don't know. I don't know. There could be uncertainties, um, meaning not knowing if the two of you still, if you still feel the same. Give me one second, Cancer. I'm looking around. Why am I so confused all of a sudden? Give me an overall energy. New beginning is here. Give me an overall energy for this reading. Wheel of Fortune. So there's there's something here working out in your favor. Divine inter divine detours, divine intervention, divine timing. Okay, I have Aquarius. A wish granted. The universe is getting ready to bless you. Okay, that's not showing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here. Let's get into the tarot. Harmony, peace, and joy. I'm seeing. I'm gonna use this deck. Okay, I'm seeing Pisces. Someone's hung up about something they did in the past or some unresolved wounds that, that they had or something that they need to say. They're thinking a lot about what they're going to say. 
Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I said something about feeling overworked. Queen of Swords. Okay, let's clarify. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Walking away from an ex or walking away from something. Who's single here for Cancer? Who is this energy that feels unworthy? There's been there's something going on with this person here. This uh, divine intervention could be a catalyst, some sort of karmic karmic change that has happened with them recently. There you are. I'm seeing you're here, Queen of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with this King of Wands. I'm gonna move my candle. Be a Libra, the justice, feeling like they need to do the right thing. Now, five of swords and this temperance. Yeah, they want to heal this situation with you. Someone does. Sagittarius energy, five of swords. It's a misunderstanding, meaning a misinterpretation. Three of wands is truth that's coming in in the form of guidance. Someone's guided here to resolve this five of swords with you. Yeah, Aquarius. Look, in the Six of Cups, thinking a lot about you. Doesn't have to be an Aquarius, okay? This card's not censored. Does not have to be an Aquarius. But this is someone here from your past that's still hopeful. This person's still hopeful um, that they can resolve, come into a resolution here with you with his temperance. Step into a new experience. Um, I feel like this is leading the two of you now, again, to a new, to a new experience, meaning something that this energy feels guided here, a move that they feel guided to take. Virgo and Pisces, again, nine of wands. This is somebody who wants to try again, okay? They want to try again. Six of cups and the star. And the page of cups. They may, they may have an apology for you or maybe a gift with this page of cups. I see the justice as the truth. It's the truth about this five of swords. Typically three energies in this five of swords, but someone here is walking away. Three of wands could be an energy at a distance here. Your ship's coming in. What is this three of wands for cancer? I want to try again. Three of wands. Someone at a distance could be a fire sign. This person could have fire that wants to try again with you. Don't tell me no, cancer. Justice. <laughs> Nine of wands. Yeah, they want. Yeah, they definitely want to try again. Could be a Gemini. We have the Queen of Wands. It could have been a choice here between you and this Queen of Wands. This person could be married. I'm seeing Virgo energy, Queen of Swords. What is this situation? Someone that's now able to see something. Okay, let me shuffle this deck. I'm seeing the Queen of Swords as you telling someone the truth. This person could have been in a commitment here with the Queen of, Queen of Wands, Devil energy. This is being healed. Six of Cups, moving on, this past life connection or this person here is moving on from an attachment There's a, or an addiction. Capricorn energy that landed here on this temperance. The justice wants to show. So there's karma here. Look, and the Six of Cups wants to show cancer. I feel like you have a past energy that's going through, that has gone through it some sort of turmoil here recently could be with another person a third party because i'm seeing the three of wands this five of swords there's justice and i channel something about the catalyst for this person there's divine intervention that is what this justice is this temperance is someone feeling guided why is this devil energy here showing it could be as simple as an attachment to you there's somebody here whom you're not speaking to with this two of swords that has an attachment here to you Something you're about to come in for you. Okay, it is favorable. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice twice. And the Star Energy. The Star star Energy. Someone's cutting out this, uh, this addiction, attachment, codependency. That is what's being healed. Why is this devil here? Clarify this devil energy, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, qu I was going to say Queen of Swords. King of Swords. They're cutting it. Somebody here sees it. This person sees it. Yeah. They see through the BS, the confusion, the lies, the illusion. Choices, options, choices, okay? King of Swords. Aquarius, strongly 
Gemini, Libra. You know, sometimes I view the King of Swords as Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, and this is Devil Energy with a sword. Okay, this is an attachment that either you're cutting out of your life and you've, you're coming into this balance and healing. I feel like your spirit guides have guided you. Uh, have guided you, this Queen of Cups, out of this illusion. Okay, take the message how it resonates. I'm reading for a lot of people, so it can't just be so direct, okay? Or specific, it may be specific for some and not for others. I see this temperance as a reconciliation, could be a, resol a resolution of a misinterpretation here from the past. Somebody here is contacting you, wanting to speak or say something to you, because you're showing, showing up in the reading, Queen of Cups wanting to make things right with you. This is cause and effect with his justice. A lot of memories from the past. Very strong Aquarius. What is this Queen of Cups here? And what is coming in for you? Uh, with this Three of Wands. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Yeah, the Empress what's coming in for you. Yeah, to resolve things with you. And to let you know that they're single. <laughs> I don't know why. That's funny. Like, like you need to know, right? To let you know that uh, they're not attached to anyone. So there's resolution coming in for this Queen of Cups. Three of Wands is this masculine energy at a distance. I could have taken a look. Aquarius, the star energy. This is somebody that could have been inconsistent or very passionate in the past. They've taken a long time. There's been a, there's been a delay here. What is the star energy for Cancer? We have Aries, Libra. Libra strong also. What is the star energy in this reading? Divine intervention is what the sword is. Okay, I'm seeing the sword and the justice as divine intervention. The star energy is a, it's a blessing here coming in. Somebody here has healed, okay? Four of swords has taken their time here to reevaluate and think and contemplate a situation with you. What is the star for cancer? This is a blessing where all the stars align for you. I'm seeing this Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups again. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. What is the star energy? There could be a family, feminine, mem feminine, <laughs> family member who is a, who would be this Queen of Wands, fire sign. Okay. That is seeing, seeing you in the spotlight, meaning seeing your success because it is the star that I'm clarifying. And I see the Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups. This person's regrets, uh, has some sort of guilt. They could be in the dark about something or fe feeling pitiful is within the energy I'm channeling about something here with you because they're seeing somebody here, this queen of wands seeing your success. This could be a family, could family member. What is the star energy for cancer? Stars, stars aligning for you, two of wands. Somebody's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Two of wands, three of wands. It's queen of wands again. Why is this queen of wands here showing? And the Queen of Swords, King of... There's three people here, Six of Wands. Things are working out in your favor. I channeled that message when I began the reading with this Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there could be a person here watching this. There's a conversation between these two people. There's Leo Energy, Four of Pentacles. There's a decision, more importantly, okay? Because we have... The, I'm seeing now the Two of Wands... There's a decision here to resolve. I miss it. something here with you. Two of Wands. And there could be a choice here between someone's asking themselves what is the best decision to make about a situation. Give me one more energy for the star for Cancer. It's like there's somebody viewing success here with you. And they want to resolve something with you. Three of Cups. So it's celebration, a coming together. What I'm channeling very strong reconciliation. The star again. What is going on here? With the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. I feel like there's a person who's ready to go, ready to take, makes ready to make some kind of move, and, you, and this is somebody you know. Give me one more energy for this reading. For the start and i don't know why this is a celebration for you three three of wands there is a third party that wanted to block wanted to block uh two people from coming together okay 
person could have paid someone or could have invested in creating creating an ending it's not happening spirit is saying it's not it's not happening look at this the magician someone here tried to implement some sort of manifestation this magician landed at the feet of this justice so if someone had tried to block this wish fulfillment for you that is what the star energy is okay this good omen with this page of wands i feel like it's being it's being it's being rejected is what i'm hearing it's being rejected there's a celebration and a blessing coming in for you with with a soulmate with a soulmate and i have the temperance here twice and that to me feels like a lot of balance resolution somebody that wants to put an effort into working something here with you they have cut out an attachment with this devil and the i was going to say queen of swords queen of swords is it's it's an x something here that kept this person here from coming forward that could have been the delayed cancer knight of pentacles i'm seeing virgo with a nine of wands you may be seeing nine 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 this person's coming out of hermit mode They feel defeated. This is somebody that has their guard down. They're coming in. They're coming towards you with their guard down. Okay. This is a mistake. They feel they feel unworthy. This is somebody who does feel unworthy. That you're, that you're a better person, and they're definitely missing missing you or feeling that they missed out on an opportunity with you. There's somebody here who's seeing your success, determination as well. You've done the right thing, so now good karma here follows. I, that, that's what I'm seeing. Look, seeing it. Page of Swords and the Hangman. Pisces energy they're they're in distress somebody here's in distress could be a Virgo very strongly because now they know the truth with this justice look about this connection two of cups somebody wants you to let your guard down nine of wands the hermit in the reverse what you need to know is that there is divine intervention here I don't know why you need to know that someone's single maybe perhaps you needed to know that um I think it's more more profound this this the star clarifying the star that that's all your wishes all your the stars aligning for you a blessing celebration is what i see with this three of cups okay something you're going to be enthusiastic about the future this is having blind faith about feeling optimistic to take a leap who is this energy nine of cups nine of cups emotional contentment happiness and a resolution here with this energy Okay, some someone's getting something out of the way. It's almost like they're they're making room for the new. Give me an energy for this justice for cancer. Thinking about doing the right thing. Okay, weighing the pros and cons. Okay, seven of cups is showing. Okay, <laughs> this justice and the queen of wands is showing again. I don't know what this queen of wands is. Fire energy. Look, and now it's showing with the ten of swords. So prior it was showing with the ten of cups, and I said this could be a family, someone in your family. But this person could be married. I typically see the Queen of Wands as another person. Ten of, so now it's showing with the Ten of Swords. So the worst here is over. There's been an ending. Now you're showing here Queen of Cups. Okay, you see where this is going? Let me see. Five of Pentacles. So something here is being, re like I just channeled. There's something here being almost removed. Seven of Cups has to do with an illusion, choices. I just channeled bad company, bad company that somebody here is uh, terminating, terminating, cutting out or simply not no longer falling for someone's um, deception. OK, the magician sideways could be a person that tries to manipulate, manipulate the, the outcome of a situation with this five of swords. I feel like this person, somebody's seeing it. OK, somebody's seeing this uh, situation unravel for them. Yeah. There it is, Ten of Cups. I feel like there is somebody that has a has some sort of um, has has had another situation, which is why we have here someone letting you know that they're single. There's been a change, a sudden change we here recently. This divine intervention, channeling a tower, tower. So clarify this justice. The justice. We have the Seven of Cups here clarifying this justice. So no more illusions. Here it is. Clarifying this justice is five of swords, which is here. This person has had or somebody has had time to reevaluate a situation here for a source and um, find it, finally make, make a decision. 
make a decision. Five of Swords, Seven of Cups about these people. Someone's deciding about other people for this temperance. A resolution is what I'm hearing. Nine of Pentacles, I'm single. I'm single in the third party or whoever third person um, that's involved here um, is worried. Somebody here is worried that they're being they're being terminated is what I'm hearing or left out or there's that sword again, the sword of truth. Okay. Sleepless nights, worries, three of swords, third party energy. Ace of swords is about a new beginning. Okay. Taking a leap towards and feeling determined to do so. Six of wands. I feel like you're going to tell someone here also the truth. Okay, you're going to be very direct. Direct. I channeled that message in the beginning. Um, someone being direct to the point. Nine of Pentacles. I'm single right now. Nine of Pentacles is how I'm seeing this message. Nine, nine is what I'm channeling. Give me one final energy for this reading for Cancer. Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Capricorn, feeling unworthy of you. Expect uh, good news here with this page of wands. This is a message, a good omen. And the ace of wands could be from this, man. yeah, I feel like it is this masculine energy, letting you know, I'm contacting you soon. That This is the text that's coming through. Okay, the WhatsApp message, if you have that. Something's coming in through um, some sort of communication somebody wanting or waiting waiting to to communicate with you or waiting to invest ace of wands thinking about this four of swords someone someone has had time to think about this divine connection that they have with you and this other external party look this was in the beginning of the reading i just realized this okay this true love external party and past life soulmates which is here six of cups karmic contracts family and other another person material concerns that is all the devil that is all the devil and this king of swords is now seeing it cutting it out deception is what i'm hearing deception because we have here dishonesty by lying i ripped us apart so here it is spiritual mission is what you have with this energy i feel like the two of you look at this a spiritual mission as i said that four of wands maybe seeing 22 44 person's thinking they should have invested in this connection with you oh yes they are page of pentacles and the six of cups studying something from the past looking back at the past of what they've invested in their money their time their energy there's an acceptance here to to release and to let something go with this hangman just just to let it go to it there's an acceptance this person's making about this connection with you studying the truth about the truth, the justice is here. Learning the lesson. It's the Seven of Pentacles. What is the outcome here for Cancer? Let me use this deck. There's something here this person is solidifying, meaning finalizing. Okay, I just heard that very clear in my mind when I, maybe that's why I'm taking so long. And I channeled this message. I said, I'm channeling the t tower. And although it's not the tarot that I'm using, it's the, you know, this is the last card that was left behind, tower solid foundation i just said solidify success with efforts i channel that message of the tower this person has felt empty for some time like something has been lacking it's maybe you or or this um it, it could go for both it could go for both you know also you know trying to, someone could have attempted to build here <laughs> elsewhere solid foundation and this this is not this is not giving to this person meaning that there's still a lack of something okay they feel like this was a mistake okay they feel like this this was a mistake somebody does give me one more energy for this reading a meeting with a stranger could be important a new home new attitude someone could be meeting here with somebody about a new home maybe a realtor I don't know. september may resonate this may happen around the month of september leo energy time to act so it's time to take action either somebody's taking action towards moving out a meeting with a stranger could be important you could meet you could be meeting someone new cancer but this is what i'm channeling we have wealth here an opportunity or windfall that brings in prosperity we have a new attitude you could have a new attitude within your own home you could be 
remodeling or this feels like sweeping again taking taking something out and having a brand new attitude about something could be within a home so something could could have changed again divine detours divine intervention a meeting with a stranger someone could be meeting here with um Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm channeling somebody that's in the prof profession. That's, that's why I channel real estate, okay? They could be meeting with an attorney. They could be meeting with a realtor about a home situation. Okay, an opportunity of windfall. We have wealth. Give me one more energy. That doesn't feel, I don't feel resolved. Now, where's, where is it? Okay, lost. I lost the deck. Okay, I'm going to leave this card here. Time to act. Very strong, Leo. We have great happiness. This has been showing great happiness even though I don't know if it was in reverse or not, but I said this, somebody has been feeling the lack of something, lacking something. Could be love, okay? Simple as love. You know, that's why they're single. We do have great happiness. Harp may resonate. Pineapple. I was speaking about pineapple yesterday evening. How pineapples used to be a sign of luxury in the 15, I don't know what year that was, but they were a sign of luxury. Came from the Caribbean. Someone may be from the Caribbean reconciliation is here pineapple didn't i channel that message my gosh it's a lot of energy there okay i channeled this message of reconciliation look with the spiritual love and i also said this spiritual love when i showed the four of wands somewhere yeah obstacles to overcome but somebody will be having victory here okay triumph over troubles and obstacles so obstacles overcome to all uh, obstacles to overcome okay mercury is still in retrograde actually i think it's done on the 27th regardless of how you see this somebody has something to say look look at what they have to say i'm going to show you in just a second oh my god you may say that to yourself oh my god something to say you're my soulmate person is going to it's going to want to come in to take care of you or feeling the need to take care of you it says here you deserve all the good things in this world they it's somebody who doesn't feel worthy of you okay i don't know why why it's showing but it's showing somebody doesn't feel worthy of you look who it is king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn eight of wands a lot of messages coming in from this person with a lot of repressed emotions that they feel they need to say this person could have a pisces moon three of swords yeah heartbroken what is hidden here is there a third party hitting three of swords and the nine of swords someone's heartbroken because there's an energy who's feeling free and optimistic because of the truth Either this King of Pentacles has attained some sort of truth here, has told the truth, has spoken their truth, and they feel liberated and optimistic to walk away from something. You could have liberated yourself from this King of Pentacles because they had a third party that could have been hidden and this kept you in the sleepless nights. And this person might have tried here to communicate with you. I feel that there's somebody who stays up and they're in the night awake with repressed emotions, heartbroken over you, okay? I don't, I don't want to just give to, out too many scenarios, but that is what I see. Because you know the truth now and you've, you've liberated yourself. You're, you're selling. You're selling. Give me one more energy. Ten of Swords. There's been an ending with this Queen of, of Pentacles. You know, this Queen of Pentacles, yeah, Five of Pentacles is, is being, again, terminated or, or left out. Somebody's either ending a re another relationship and they're single because the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles are the wife and the, the husband and the tarot and there, there's the ten of swords expect communication here from this energy who has freed themselves from some sort of um karmic situation this is karmic an illusion and they stay up and they think with the re re emotions for you cancer this is your card uh pisces cancerian energy Give me one more energy to end this reading. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing the moon. A revelation. There's a there's been a revelation. It says here illusions. So a revelation about an illusion. Okay. We have lovers. This could have been about a relationship. Gemini energy, Pisces, Cancer. Give me an energy to end this reading. Okay, we have devil energy, Capricorn. 
an illusion. It says here illusion again. There's been an attachment to either the material world, another person that kept someone here um, caged, confined, okay, not able, not able to move. There is a reconciliation. Somebody is single, nine of pentacles. Okay, at least they, they want to be, okay, or has been wanting to be. Five of cups, crying over spilled milk. Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, it's the same energy. It's the same energy. The Ten of Swords, look, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it to you guys. I think it, look. Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. We have it here. Queen of Earth, Ten of, ten of Swords, okay? Ending with, um, this person could have been materialistic, okay? Whoever this, this energy is departing, making, making, um, departure from because due to an awakening pisces energy perspective that they have attained yeah they've gathered perspective about the situ situation they are disappointed there's a lot of regret here crying over spilled milk yeah about the situation um meaning this codependency with somebody who could have been only interested in the material finance financial ten of swords i think that that's that's a message there when cards show like that different decks repeated so let me know if this resonated with you cancer i'm seeing the seven of cups the illusion is no more okay someone feels like they made a bad choice here because the seven of cups also speaks about choices I love you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Let me know if this resonated with you. I'll be back soon with another reading, Cancer. Sending you all so much love. Until next reading, namaste.